What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we're going to check out some easy cover cases for the all new Canon US R. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the camera and give you guys my quick in-depth review. So if it isn't obvious already, I did pick up a new DSLR for my YouTube videos and a bit of photography on the side, and that is Canon's new first full frame mirrorless DSLR, the Canon US R. And one of my favorite accessories I always get for my DSLRs ever since my first DSLR way back with the uh, Nikon D5200 is a easy cover camera case. And almost like buying a case for a phone, granted a case for a DSLR may not help a whole lot in regards to drops, but it'll definitely help your DSLR in regards to protecting it from bumps, scratches, and scrapes. And of course, in the event, if you ever drop your DSLR, having a case on will certainly help the survivability of it as it'll help absorb the energy impact of a drop to preserve the fragile materials inside your camera. Anyways, Easy Cover has three different color combinations for their cases. You have a traditional black, this new camouflage color, which I think is pretty cool for those of you who like to do wildlife photography or just like the camouflage look, and this super bright red color. In addition to the camera cases, I also picked up Easy Cover's lens rim protector. The cool thing about these lens rim protectors is that they're a better option than a lens hood as these are specifically designed to actually protect your, the edge of your lens from uh, bumps. Unlike a lens hood, this has a thick piece of rubber silicone material to actually absorb the impact in case of a bump or a hit. Another cool feature about these lens rim protectors is that they also have the same color as the case. So if you have the red case, you can get a red lens rim protector. If you have the black one, you can get the black one. If you have the camo one, you can get the camo one. It's a subtle little thing, but I just want to mention that it's kind of cool that you can match the camera case to the lens room protector. All right, so we switched over to my iPhone XS camera, which hopefully is sufficient enough to record this video. Anyways, here is my Canon EOS R. It's a brand new camera. Pretty excited about it as I love the compactness of these new mirrorless cameras compared to the traditional DSLR. So the first case we're going to try out is my favorite one, which is red. And the other thing that we can put on is the lens rim protector on the lens, which should just slide on like so. And we're set. The other thing you can put on is this piece here, which goes around your zoom ring if you have that. Uh, personally, I prefer the original feel of this, but if you want this on, that is also an option. So I'll give you guys a quick overview of this and then show you guys what the other colors look like. First off, the lens rim protector, here it is, which you can see here, protects the front end of the camera and I think it does a much better job. It also is more compact than a lens hood. Moving on to the camera body, you can still detach and attach a lens with this case on. It doesn't interfere with that function. On front, you have cutouts for the USR logo, the Canon logo. Uh, you have a cover for the lens release button. On the other side here, you have cutouts for the uh, assist light as well as the microphone, I believe that is. On the other side, you have this large cutout for your shutter button as well as your dial, in addition to this large added grip on the case. On the other side here, you still have access to your SD card. On the top, there's two cutouts for your strap holders as well as a cutout for your mold dial, another cutout for the top display, a cover for your mount. Some of the buttons on the top here are covered, such as your record button, your lock button, as well as your light button for the top display. On the other side, there's a cutout for your on and off switch, cutout for the other microphone on the top. Moving on to the back, obviously you have a large cutout for your viewfinder, the dial, proximity sensor, some covers for most of the rear buttons on the back, as well as your directional pad. And the nice thing about these buttons is that you still get a nice tactile feedback when you press on them, especially the dial pad here, so they don't feel like uh, they're too mushy as they still feel like you're pressing an actual button. Now with the Canon EOS R, you do have the flip out display which is still fully accessible, which you can see here. All your ports on the left side are available as well. And lastly, on the bottom, you have access to your battery cover, your uh, tripod mount. You can see here, I did put these felt rubber feet um, when I first got this camera to prevent the paint from getting all scratched up when it's laying on the table or something. Amazingly, I didn't have to take them off as this case uh, seems to be compatible with them. But of course, most of you guys probably aren't OCD like I am, so you don't have to worry about these little felt things here, but I have them on just for my uh, peace of mind. So you guys seen what the red case looks like on this camera throughout this video, let's check out the other two colors. 
All right, so here's what the black model looks like and I also installed the black rim uh, protector as well. And you can see here the black model definitely blends in better with the camera. If you want a case that doesn't uh, stick out as much as the red one here and you just want it to uh, blend in with the black look of your camera, this is definitely the one that preserves the, the look of the camera the best in regards to not making it stand out. The only thing I can mention about black in regards to a con compared to the other two colors is that all three of these materials will catch lint. It's just the nature of silicone slash rubber. But the black will show it the most, which you can kind of see here, just because it is black. Now because these cases are silicone, you can easily rinse them under the sink to get rid of all that dust and stuff, but it's definitely the one that will show it the most. Aside from that, black is definitely the best choice for those of you who want a case that doesn't change the look of your camera and preserves it the best without making it too flashy. So that is the black model here. Next, we're going to switch over to the camo model and see what that looks like. Alright, so here is the final colored case. I also have the other lens rim protector on. And this is the camouflage model, which I think looks pretty sharp on this camera. I didn't think I'd like it too much, but it actually looks uh, pretty cool. And definitely a must-have accessory for those of you wildlife photographers out there. Like the other colors, exact, nice and snug fit. Gives you full access to everything. Of course, giving your camera a nice, cool camouflage look. One thing I want to mention about this case is this sounds really silly. But for some reason, this case smells like exhaust fumes. I don't know why, but just wanted to mention that. So for those of you who picked this up and you smell the same thing, I don't know why it smells like that, but it just does. The black one and the red one do not smell like that. And I'm not sure if it's the packaging or not because this one came in a box. But for some reason, this case does smell like exhaust fumes. Now, if it's out in the open now, I would imagine like anything, it will lose that smell over time since it's out in the open. But if you do get this case and it smells like that, don't be surprised. So aside from that smell, it's a pretty nice looking case. I, I would say it's not as flashy as red just because red is a brighter color. And this one here is more for kind of blending it into the wildlife uh, uh, foresty grass type area. Uh, but in terms of having it out in public, it probably catch a few eyes, but not as much as red. But anyways, that is a quick look at the camouflage model here for the Canon EOS R. So that is a quick overview in regards to the grip. It does make the camera feel just a little bit larger, not as bad as the 5D Mark IV, but just a little bit, which I actually kind of prefer because these mirrorless cameras are more compact. Some of you probably will appreciate the larger grip as it's a little bit more comfortable versus a slimmer original body shape. So overall guys, once again, I'm pretty impressed with easy covers uh, cases for their Canon DSLRs, in this case, the EOS R. I like how it's a pretty much precision cut fit. Everything is nice and snug. And as you guys saw throughout the entire overview, every part of the camera is accessible. The screens, the buttons, the shutter button, the dials, as well as removing the lens. And a nice thing about these silicone cases is that they're fairly easy to take on and off without having uh, too much effort to do so. In regards to any cons or things I don't like about this camera, I kind of wish if there was a way to put some sort of piece of silicone that attaches this bottom piece here to the top. Now mine kind of sticks out because of my felt covers on the bottom here, uh, but even so, it's a pretty flimsy area because nothing is holding this part up. Now obviously, Easy Cover left this area open so that you can still have a flip out screen, like so. Uh, but I kind of wish there's some way to add like a super thin material that can flex back and forth or something. Uh, so that you still have the ability to flip the screen in and out. But that definitely is uh, my only complaint really with this is that there is no viable way to really uh, connect the bottom piece to the top piece so it doesn't sag or push out easily. So I took a couple of these felt feet covers off so that it don't interfere with the case. So you can still see here it does uh, kind of sag just a little bit. Um, the issue isn't really with the sagging but just the fact that it can easily flop out like so. So that's the only thing I don't really like about this area. And uh, honestly, I'd probably have a little piece here to hold this bottom piece up and lose the screen functionality since I never use that, but that's obviously uh, my personal taste. For those of you who are still in the market for a mirrorless camera, uh, these cases are available for pretty much the most popular cameras out there from the Canon 5D Mark IV to all the new mirrorless cameras that came out, the Sony A7, the Nikon version, and of course the Canon EOS R. In conclusion guys, if you're looking for some protection accessories for your brand new Canon EOS R, you definitely can't go wrong with Easy Cover. 
Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about these camera cases, let me know in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you all in the next video.